everybody. Today we're going to take a quick look at this 2015 JK Series Sahara at Rogers Wranglers in beautiful North Charleston, South Carolina. Now this particular Jeep here again, JK Series 2015, when we originally had this Wrangler on the lot, it didn't exactly look just like this. We actually added on the Mayhem wheels and 18s with the 35 Series Amp All-Terrain Attack tires. And, uh, and a few other little perks, you know, you got your uh, uh, different front bumper up here with your Smitty built 9,500 pound XD uh, winch. So that's pretty nice. Also has your fog lights up in the corners of the windshield there. But anyways, what a good looking Jeep. And uh, let's go ahead and start taking a look at it. This 2015 JK has got around 92,000 miles on it. Black with a black hard top, tinted windows, very clean. And uh, usually a Jeep like this is somewhere around the twenty, the twenty-two thousand dollar range. Um, this one actually is sold, and uh, but I still thought it'd be nice to highlight the Jeep a little bit so I could show you, you know, some other stuff and what we do here at Rogers Wranglers. But uh, again, you know, the Wrangler was on the lot for quite some time, just sitting stock, regular, you know, like a regular Jeep Wrangler, like it would come off from the car dealership at the new car store. And uh, the customer said, I want to buy it from my wife. They live up in uh, Rock Hill, South Carolina, which is not too far from Charlotte, about 30 minutes out from Charlotte. And uh, he said, I'll buy that one, but I want to have the lift on it and, uh, and you know, the rims and tires and all. It's for his wife. And so he didn't want it too high in the air. So what we've done on this, we put the hockey pucks in there, which is more of a leveling kit. And, uh, and then we added on the wheels and the tires. And so that is an extra 2,500 bucks to get a little more height with the rim and tire package and uh there you go so if you find a jeep out here at rogers wranglers that you're interested in buying and doesn't have everything you want on it believe me folks we can do it and that was about two weeks ago and he left a deposit on the vehicle for us and uh this is today this is the day that they're here they're going to be here in about 45 minutes and uh, they're going to be picking this jeep up and taking it back up to rock hill south carolina with them but uh the wheels and tires came in just a few days ago got it all ready and here's the finished product so uh, paint looks nice, it's clean. I really do like the, uh, the rims. These Mayhems look really nice uh, in black with the silver rivets and all. And uh, what a good looking tire there. You got a, uh, a 325-65 on an 18. So that's more around the lines, around 34, not a 35, but it's close to a 35. I think we're around 34, something like that. Uh, if you're thinking about the height of the tire and you know, we make these videos too because I know a lot of people are out there on the internet on YouTube looking at Jeeps and maybe they want to buy a Jeep or maybe they have a Jeep and want to add some bigger tires and all that and uh, this gives you an idea of what one looks like with again 325 65 series on 18s and uh, Good looking tire. There's no rubbing going on. I mean, they literally are brand spanking new But this is what it gives you right here and again Nothing major on the lift kit. You know, I think we added it. This maybe adds on two and a half inches, something like that. But again, when I say the hockey puck, basically you're keeping your stock suspension. And when you do this particular type lift on it, it's adding this part right here, okay? That right there sits on top of the spring. And uh, it's pretty fairly simple to do as long as you got some tools to take and get that spring out of there. But you're adding that on right there. That's it. And, uh, so when you do this particular lift kit, then you don't have to, uh, to go take it and get it realigned. And you don't have to, uh, from what I'm, I'm gathering, some people may say you do need to get it realigned, but, uh, but this one turned out to be fine. It's not pulling or anything like that. And, uh, but you don't have to re-gear it. You don't have to realign it from the lift. And those tires do great on the stock uh, you know, axles and everything like that. But what a beautiful Wrangler, it truly is. A lot of times Jeeps will already have stuff on them. And this one actually already had this right here and that. So it looked a little funny to me just sitting stock on the ground with that on there. So that tells me maybe someone had a lift on it and they took it all off before selling it. And uh, you know, cause why would you put a winch and all that on the front if you're not gonna give your vehicle some height or some aftermarket rims? I love the black with the tan interior. It looks really nice, kind of a camel. Um, your 2015's got a little more upgraded interior. You got Sahara across there. AC blows cold. You got your handles. You got your hard top. And, uh, you know, just, just a really nice Wrangler. Six speed automatic. Does have the factory CD player auxiliary and um, carpet, all that good stuff. 
but what a beauty. She's going out today and uh, I really have enjoyed working with the Wranglers here at Rogers Wranglers and working with the customers that are really interested in buying a Jeep. You know, it's probably been my most fulfilling thing to do here at Rogers is being able to sell the Jeeps. And I love selling all the other types of vehicles we get every day, but this really brings me kind of back to the new car business world of follow up, uh, winning over the customer, you know, making sure that they're extremely happy with the purchase they're making. And, uh, you know, being a, uh, a guy that's been in the car business since 2001, you know, I've, again, selling the Jeep Wranglers kind of makes me feel like it did when I worked at the, uh, the Audi or Acura store or, you know, because this sometimes buying a Wrangler is some more like sometimes it's like a toy, you know, it's a, it's more of a pleasure purchase sometimes than having to go and buy a Honda Accord or a Nissan Altima because you need a car. This is usually in most cases, um, something that someone doesn't necessarily need. It's more of a want. And, uh, and those types of deals are not too difficult, but you always got to get the numbers lined up and, uh, and there is a little more work involved with that type of sale. So if you ever got any questions about car sales and you're uh, in the car business and watching on the channel here, feel free to ask me. Got uh, plenty of experience in the used car world and the new car world and the buy here, pay here world. And, uh, and we got all kinds of things in the near future to come. So please stay with us here on Charleston Car Videos. And thank you for watching. I'm going to get in, go test drive it, make sure everything's good before the customer gets here. Put a little gas in and, uh, and we'll send them off with a smile.